Ciao with a camera and welcome. I'm using my Mi Mini Plus for like a month and I can see why it is so popular. Because people want to have all their favorite retro games in their pockets at all times. And recently I got my hands on its direct competitor, Ambanic RG35XX, and today we are comparing them. A head-to-head -head battle of mini retro handhelds. So, let's get into it. I'm comparing them from average user perspective, because that's what I am. I'm an average user, I'm not the handheld guru, you got other channels for that. This is in fact my third retro handheld, Miu Mini Plus, Paukiri X55 and RG35XX. Also huge thanks to GoGameGeek for sending this product for honest review, it's greatly appreciated. Check out this and other products on their website, link is down below. So which one is better? Well, it is a bit more complicated, so let's start at the beginning. You'll get same things in the box, cable, manual, screen protector and for Miu Mini you'll get extra micro SD to USB adapter. I'm also comparing both of them with stock firmware. If you wanna see custom OS comparison, like and subscribe. Size is almost identical, Ambanic is a bit longer, tiny bit wider and tiny bit thinner. Button layout from the sides is a bit different. On the Ambanic, power button, reset and microSD slots are from the right side. On the top is mini HDMI out and the rest is like Mew Mini. Left side volume and bottom is for USB-C and headphone jack. From the rear side you get access to the battery on the Mew Mini Plus. Whereas on the Ambernic you'd need screwdriver to get inside to replace it. Mi Mini Plus has 3000 mAh battery, Ambernic 2600 mAh battery. The rear buttons are larger and much easier to press on the Ambernic. I would even say they are actually usable. Whereas from Mi Mini buttons I got the impression they are there cause they have to be there, not like they are there to be used. When I grab Ambernic I can comfortably press any button without shifting my grip. But on a Miu Mini, not so much. LNR2 are taller than LNR1, so they are easier to press, but still I feel like when I grab it, I need to put more effort to activate them. Whereas with Ambanic, it's almost effortless, and it feels more natural to use them while gaming, without focusing too much on what I need to press and how. ABXY, to me, look and feel identical. Start, select menu on the Ambanic are taller, and less clicky than on the Mi Mini Plus. Now to the D-pad, which is very important and used in every game, as you may know. Fortunately, both are high quality D-pads. Ambanic D-pad is a bit thinner and a bit longer, and Mi Mini is a bit more squishy and concave. But both are very solid D-pads. I personally prefer Ambanic one, cause Mi Mini was giving me unintentional presses sometimes, but this, in my opinion, ultimately comes down to your thumb and to your preferences and to the games you want to play. And this is my thumb, my preferences and my games and therefore I'm saying Ambanic, because it felt more zealous friendly. The screens are both 3.5 inches, 4x3 ratio, with resolution 640x480. The quality and viewing angles are almost identical. Here I'm playing same game on max brightness and my eyes couldn't notice anything out of order. You know how is it with these Chinese handled companies, they often share suppliers, parts, so it's perfectly possible they are exactly the same, but don't quote me on that. Speakers, both devices have one mono speaker, when Mio Mini is on the max volume you can hear some crackling here and there, Ambernic is also not the best speaker I've heard, but the crackling is uh, much less noticeable. Now to the software and emulation side of things. Boot up is quicker on Ambernic, not that it would matter, it's just a few seconds. The specifications are a bit different, but it also doesn't matter cause uh, they can emulate basically the same systems at the same speed. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, MAME, Neo Geo, NES, SNES, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, PC Engine, Neo Geo Pocket, Game Gear and Wonder Swan Color. As far as I've tested it, I couldn't see any slowdowns. I was testing mostly PS1 emulation, cause that's what I was using it for. It was my personal PS1 portable, PPSP or PPS1P. <laughs> if retro games are your thing, you definitely won't be disappointed. The interface is similar and very easy to use on both devices, it's also very quick. Games, favorite, history, setting, search. One thing I miss on Ambernic is the toggles for optimizing the screen like saturation, contrast, hue. Plus there is a Wi-Fi on the Mi Mini Plus. No Wi-Fi on Ambernic. Now to the price. 
Ambonic is cheaper, it sells usually for like $70 for 64 gig version, Mio Mini Plus uh, $86 for same version. The prices vary depending where you want to buy it from. If you want to buy it from Go Game Geek, these are the prices you're going to pay, including shipping and taxes. Now let's summarize everything. Ambonic is a bit bigger, a bit cheaper, with a bit different D-pad, better shoulder buttons and it has HDMI out. Mio Mini Plus is a bit more expensive, with Wi-Fi and it's a bit harder to get. So which one should you buy? Well, this decision is entirely up to you and uh, up to your preferences. If you ask me which one would I pick, I would pick Ambonic. The larger size fits better into my larger hands and the deal breaker are shoulder buttons. I mean if you want to use it for older games, many use one of them at most, but for PS1 emulation it's quite important to have functional solid shoulder buttons for enjoyable experience, which Ambonic can offer me and cause of that I'm choosing it. I would also save few quid on top of that. And I'm not really bothered about Wi-Fi or HDMI out, because I'm never gonna use it anyway. Okay, these were just my thoughts, based on my perception of these devices. You should always check also other reviews to see opinions from different perspectives. Thanks to GoGameGeek for sending it over, check their website, lot of cool gadgets in there, for affordable prices and with worldwide shipping. I already created some more Mio Mini Plus videos, I'll put links down below and in the right corner. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, thanks to you for watching, thanks to members for support, I'll catch you in the next one, peace.